Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is day 10 of 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. It's a collaboration with several members of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Hey, if you would please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Comment below if you have any questions or comments that you want to make about this project. Check the description box down below to see the other artists that have also created various projects throughout the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. Today, we are to make a Christmas card with a handmade envelope and I can't seem to do things just one at a time I want to do it in multiples so what I did was I went in and I printed the vintage Christmas gift tags which are basically a little bit larger than artist trading card size I think I should measure them for you they are three inches by four inches in size I printed it on linen cardstock and there's two sheets in this kit so I printed both of those. I'll fussy cut these out here in a moment. I've also printed some faux postage. These are both by Calico Collage, by the way. And I thought I might use these on my envelopes. I've also got some various papers here, some of which are from a Christmas dream, a Christmas box that I have in my shop. These are from the printed kit for the mini journal. And my print guy that made these for me print them incorrectly so on the other side the image is upside down so i thought i might use those today i also have an a2 envelope template this is a template that i offer in my shop i have some sheets of music i have some bible pages i have some red cardstock i found this stack of christmas papers and then i have a partial roll of wrapping paper so let me clear all this back off my desk i'm going to fussy cut these elements so they're put aside and then we're going to work on making the envelope first and i may that may sound backwards but i want to make the envelope first because i want to use some of the leftover bits to make my cards I've unrolled the wrapping paper, so it's a huge piece. I decided that I didn't want to cut it up until I was done altering it a little bit. So what I've done is I've cut up some of the sheet music into pieces and applied distress ink around the edge, walnut stain. I also cut up some Bible book pages. So what I'm going to do is just take a few minutes and adhere some of these squares here and there all over this paper. And then once I've done that, I'll come back and start tracing out my envelope templates. So I'm just going to use some Aline's tacky glue, go around the edges and then glue these down. It may not be perfect, but you know, it'll be enough, I think, to uh, add some pattern and design. So I'm just kind of spacing these out every so often and I'm going to keep doing that all over and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've gone all over the wrapping paper and I've applied a couple pieces of paper. Now I'm just going to take my template here and start tracing these out and then I'll cut them out. So I'll just trace these and then I'll come back and cut them out. So I've cut out the envelopes. These are the shapes that they end up being. And now I want to stamp on here. So I'm going to grab just a scrap of paper to put down. I've got some archival ink jet black. And from the Pinecone Duo, I have one of the rubber stamps. And we're just going to stamp this somewhat in this upper corner here. And then I've got Tick tock i think it's called or tick tick i can't remember if it's tick tick or tick tock but i'll have the name down in the description box and i'll ink this up with the archival ink and let's stamp it over in this corner next i have the stencil from september stencil club only because i just like this pattern and i've got some forest moss distress oxide ink just because i like the color and i've got an oval blending brush so what I'm going to do is stencil all over this envelope. So I'm just going to rub through the stencil, kind of getting this upper portion all the way across. And then I'll move my stencil down, just kind of lining it up with one of the patterns that's already on here. And then just fill in the bottom. 
right? So that made a nice little pattern all over our envelope that we made out of wrapping paper and scraps of paper. So now what I'm going to do is fold this in. So basically, you just kind of look at this. You should be able to line this up and fold each tab. So I folded up my envelope. Now I'm just going to apply some distress inks all the way around all the edges. Now I'm going to fold up the envelope and glue it shut. So I'm just folding my tabs in on the side. We're going to fold this up and then this will come down. So what I need to do is put a little bit of glue right here on this tab and a little bit on this tab. And then I don't want to come all the way up, but I just want to do a little bit over here and a little bit over there. And that'll kind of make sure that the tab stays down. So there's my envelope. Now I want a label for the front of it. So I've cut a piece of red cardstock that I had left over here that is one and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. I'm going to use my crocodile corner chomper and round the corners. And this is going to be a quick way to make a label. I'm grabbing a scrap of paper again and I have a ruler and I've showed this technique in one of the other 12 days of Christmas I think it was day three where I made the um, envelope out of a scrap uh, a, a piece of book page so I'm just going to take my marker and then use my ruler to get a straight edge all the way around my little label I've got from the festive cube this little leaf pattern and I thought that would look kind of cute in this upper corner. Let's put some distress ink walnut stain around the edges and then I'm going to glue this on the front of my envelope here in the center. So we've got a space to put our address if we really want to mail our envelope. On the back side I'm going to use from the faux postage set so I'm just going to grab one of those images and I cut a rectangle out of more of that red scrapbook paper. I've applied some distress inks around the edges so I'm just going to adhere these two together. So there's my faux postage piece. Now I want this to be a closure on the back and I want to put glue just on this bottom portion about halfway up no more than three-fourths of the way because you don't want to interfere with the mechanism of closing it and you don't want to accidentally glue it shut yet. So I put it down just far enough that the tab can still go underneath. So there's my envelope. Now I went ahead and cut some eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock that I had in my stash in half. So they are eight and a half by five and a half. I've gone around the edges with some distress inks. So now I'm going to do is get a few supplies out here and let's do some collaging and make some cards. We've got one envelope made here and so now what I want to do is make a card that will go inside. I previously told you that I cut some eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper in half. I also have some music here that I've cut into some strips and then I went ahead and I cut up a Bible page. This is four inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall and I want to alter this. It's a stark white or ivory page and I've got some tattered angels glimmer mist this is a green that's from a Christmas dream holly leaf is the color and I've got a paintbrush so I'm going to shake this up and take the lid off I know it's kind of being risky here dip my paint into the tattered angels and then I'm just going to go right around the outside edge because I don't need the whole page covered because it's going to have other layers on top of it so this is a great way to add a pop of color and you're not wasting supplies by coloring the whole thing because you only need a certain area so I'll put my paintbrush into some water I'll use my heat tool and dry this really fast I'll go ahead and use some distressed ink walnut stain and go around the edges so I know I'm going to put this on here and I've got an image from the calico collage sheet that I want to put on there and I want to put a sentiment across the bottom so I've got a little strip of some craft colored cardstock and I've got Merry Christmas from I think it's the Christmas or it's maybe holiday sayings but I'll have it in the description box below 
So I'm just inking this up with the black archival ink and we're just going to stamp it somewhat in the center to one side and then I'll just take my scissors and snip that and then I'm going to go around the edges with some distress ink. All right I want to layer these pieces together. I've already put distress ink around this piece so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down and I'll put this piece in this upper area and glue it down. I've got a scrap of fabric here that I've ripped the edges and I want to put the Merry Christmas on top of that. So I'm just going to trim it to be just slightly larger. And if I want that edge frayed, I'll just kind of pull those threads a little bit. I'm going to glue this right in the middle. So I'll just put a little bit of Aline's tacky glue on the back side here because I'm going to sew on it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. If you're not going to sew, then you want to make sure you put a nice generous coat of glue on there. All right, so I'm going to take these pieces over to the sewing machine and we're going to do some stitching. So I'm over at my sewing machine. I have it set for a regular zigzag stitch. I have regular thread, regular needle, and I'm just going to stitch around this. So I'm going to start with the Merry Christmas and just stitch around the outside edge. When I get to the corner, I will raise my presser foot and then rotate this around, lower the presser foot, and then continue sewing. Stitched around that. And now I'm going to stitch around this uh, puppy dog image. So that's been stitched on. I'm going to take the collaged piece that I made, and that's going to be laid on top of my red cardstock. And I'm only going to glue right in the center because I plan to go back to the sewing machine and sew around it. While I'm going back to the machine in just a moment, I'm grabbing some strip of red fa uh, fabric that I happen to have, and I'll tie a little knot. Just kind of make this little frayed piece and then just cut it. And I'm going to stitch this down as well. So I'm going to stitch around the outside edge and then stitch this down in the middle. So go back to the sewing machine. So again, I'm going to stitch all the way around the outside edge. So I stitched all the way around and now I'm going to grab this little piece of fabric and put it right here in the corner and then put a couple of stitches on there. So let's put the final touches on here. I've got the Merry Christmas sentiment that I want to put down here on the bottom. So I'll glue that into place. And I've used some of these in the other projects. I've got these little gemstones here. So I'm just going to grab one, some sticky part, and we're going to stick this down. I'm going to put it right on top of the little fabric piece. So there's my little journal card. So I didn't put a sentiment on the inside. I'll leave it blank. We may write something in it later. And then here is our envelope that we can pop our little journal card down inside. We can close it with our little pretty closure on the back side. And I've made a couple of cards so far. So here's another one that I've made. And I'm going to make up some more. And I'll put a couple of these together as a great little gift to give to someone. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick way to make an envelope as well as a Christmas card as part of the 12 Days of Junk Journal gift ideas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, comment below if you have any comments. Check the description box for the links for the other people who are also creating these projects as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.